Hello, I'm Jong Young Park. Creating processes and taking impressions are closely related together because you have to have success of one for success of the other, and for the successful result, you get would need good process. So if you take good impressions, you would also have good prosthesis on your hand. Now this time, after learning about my level thick impressions, let's master about fixed level impressions at this lecture. So this will be the content that I'm going to talk about. First, understanding of the fixture level impressions. Fixture 3D positioning in the mouth using impression coping, uh, you recreate uh, using model. Of the fixture level impression, pickup type impression is the one that is most commonly used. The red arrow indicates pick up impression coping. You might not know much if you see it for the first time, but if you um, use it uh, many times in your clinic, you would be familiar with it. Uh, here you have to use open tray, link the pick up impression coping, and then take the impression, unscrew it, and take the impression out. Then pick up impression coping will come with the impression. And the you have this one, lab analog, that copies the form of the fixture. Through the video, you will gain more understanding. This is the pickup impression coping. So you have to put the hex correctly and then connect. Uh, it's the same method as uh, taking pressure of natural teeth, meaning you use a light and heavy body. And here you need a hole in the tray. You need an open tray. So after the impression is seated, you can unscrew it before removing the impression. And then you deliver healing abutment into the mouth again. And from the next step, please use carefully. The lab analog recreates the fixture form and that lab anode linked again to the pick up impression coping and screw again. Then 3D positioning will be recreated. This is creating the soft tissue, creating gummy tissue, and then you pour cast. That means 3D positioning in the mouth is relocated to the cast model, and the abutment is selected and customized and then modified. In case of the custom abutment, of course, you don't need the modification step. And then you fabricate the crown. In the lab, once the crown is fabricated, then it comes to the clinic. And healing abutment is unscrewed again and then abutment using hex the positioning uh, is uh, set and delivered and connected correctly then the positioning created in the lab is uh, you uh, use for the positioning in the clinic to go in the right place and uh, with the cleaning everything will be complete 3d positioning how the impression coping uh, is used for taking impressions uh, i hope that uh, through this uh, video you have gained more understanding the key part is uh, correctly connecting the hex uh, one is wrong connection here let's try to find out which one it is Can you see it? The same impression coping, there is a notch. And if there is a notch and there is a, uh, some uh, distance, wrong connection. And there is also a, a gap that can be used as an identifier. And with that, you can distinguish between wrong and correct connection. And this is the correct connection, the hex. Even if it's wrongly correct, this crook still will be a tightened, so you really have to be careful. In case of pickup impression, you have to have have hole in the tray, 
and you have to remove impression after unscrewing. If you try to remove impression without unscrewing, you can damage the fixture and the impression body could tear. In the cast model, uh, one feed abutment was created and final prosthesis was uh, made. If the crown is short for retention, I prefer cast restoration and for longer extension, I prefer fixer level impression because it's uh, easy to make uh, and design sub gingivally. <laughs> Of the fixture level impression, the one that I use most often is transfer type impression. Red arrow indicates transfer impression coping. You might not again understand what it is if you see it for the first time, but by seeing the next slide and videos, you'll gain more understanding. If you use this type of coping, unlike the pickup impression coping, you don't have to use a tray with a hole. You can use closed tray, like uh, any tray that you use for taking impression of natural teeth. After taking impression from the fixture, transfer impression coping, you unscrew, and then reposition uh, in the impression. That is very important step. So let me explain further. If you see the video, you will understand uh, more. So this is the transfer impression coping. The first steps are same as the pickup impression coping. Healing abutment is removed, and hex needs to be put in correctly to connect the transfer impression coping and then screw hole. The driver hole needs to be blocked out and I'll explain more further uh, later on using the impression material. You take the impression and typical rubber impression. What is different from the pickup type is that you don't need a hole in the tray. And after taking impression, transfer impression coping, unlike the pickup impression coping, it just stays in the mouth. and you remove it from the mouth as the next step and this step is healing abutment is again delivered uh, lab analog recreates the fixture form and shape and here transfer impression coping is applied and the using the index that you're taking transfer impression coping is again uh, delivered to the impression gum tissue is created and cast is poured for the model to be complete Using transfer impression coping, what is important is that driver hole needs to be blocked out. So if you take even impression to the driver hole, uh, next mistakes can occur. Now the circle area is where I used wax, wax to block out. Impression is elastic, so in reposition transfer impression coping, because of the red circled area, uh, it can settle not sufficiently. So if you enlarge it, you can understand uh, further. If you take impression without blocking out the driver uh, hole, then there could be more um, errors. Uh, I usually block out with utility wax and then take impression. So let's look at the real case. Dentist, just uh, connect transfer impression coping and take impression with the closed tray and the next steps can all be done at the lab. Uh, consult the lab to select the abutment, modify it, and uh, you fabricate the final prosthesis. Then the dentist tests abutment and others are delivered, uh, final prosthesis delivered to the mouth and everything is complete. Another easy mistake is using internal conical product from other companies. Unlike the originals, other companies' product screws uh, could be longer. And the arrow area needs to stay empty for the correct connection. If the screw, however, is long, there could be floor interference. So the original connects uh, well correctly, but the D company's products cannot correct, uh, connect in the right way because of the flow interference. Do you see the interference? 
and also a gap in the osteum connection. And in the short implant, this type of mistakes can occur. And if diameter was six or seven, there could be a floor interference if it's other companies' products. So it's the same with the scanned body. So you need to understand other companies' products also well, otherwise you could have mistakes on your hand. Next is uh, usage of the bite impression coping. And here, the bite impression coping, you connected the hex correctly in the mouth, and again, the important area is this. In transfer impression coping, if you create it short, then you have one or two uh, bite space available with the opposite teeth is very important. So if there's occlusion with the opposite teeth, of course, bite impression cannot be taken um, very well. So same impression taken as transfer impression coping. And again, we position the impression body. And on the fixture level, abutment and prosthesis were created at one go. And abutment is connected orally, and final prosthesis was fabricated. Compared to transfer impression coping, bite impression coping, some people connect uh, better. The retention is shorter, but why does it connect better? So I uh, thought about this. And I think it's because there is no driver hole resulting in less errors. The driver hole of the transfer impression coping, if you block out with WEC, both uh, copings uh, would give you good results. Like this, with wax, driver hole needs to be blocked out. I hope that uh, you will do this. Next is digital scanning on the fixture level. First, based on top-down protocol, guide is designed. And after OCO integration, scan body is connected and digitally scanned. Custom abutment and zirconia crowns were created uh, together simultaneously. Pass method was after making abutment, the abutment was scanned with model or orally, and the final prosthesis was uh, fabricated. So it took a lot of time. But this approach with why you mill the abutment final prosthesis is fabricated, so it takes shorter time. One fit milling center comes from, uh, makes the abutment, and final prosthesis comes from the lab. Uh, when you order to the Austin One Fit Milling Center, indicate this is One Fit uh, prosthesis. Uh, what is different from the past method is that uh, you think about natural teeth prep for zirconia. So zirconia milling and custom abutment uh, milling uh, should be designed, both uh, designed for re recreation. So round shoulder, no sleep, uh, steep um, angle, and the abutment surface also needs to be flat in your uh, design for better results. Please refer to the Austin uh, design guide in creating your custom abutment. So, in using impression coping, the common mistake that results in big error is uh, not connecting hex correctly. So, using X-ray through experience and through feeling you have in a screwing, please connect the hex correctly because if you don't do this right, everything will go wrong. Uh, so it's very important. So please uh, see what is wrong connection and correct connection. I hope you can now distinguish between the two. Be it abutment level or fixture level uh, impression taking or you, whether you use digital scanning, whatever the method, if you have the right connection between the fixture and abutment and have a, a good uh, margin on the prosthesis and there is a good occlusion with the adjacent area is all uh, checked, um, then the method uh, would not 
be、uh, important. You just use the comfortable way, depending on the、uh, case. So impression material used to lead to discomfort of the patient, but with the scan,、uh, as the digital scanning、uh, makes everything、uh, easier for you and、uh, faster for you, everything is、uh, changing. So I hope that you will. Learn new ways to adapt to the changing times. Thank you for your attention. 상을 돕는 든든한 도움이가 되겠습니다. 함께해주신 여러분 고맙습니다.